Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rachahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And I wanted to do a, a quick video because I just got word uh, this guy Alazar is doing what he's always known to do. And um, and that's trying to sow discord. All right. When he gets caught out there. Um, trying to sow discord amongst brethren. And that's really why he's not here in Great Millstone. At this point, that's why it was cast away from us. All right. For these very tactics. All right. The dude cannot take the low. He cannot be wrong. He cannot take rebuke. And he's going to constantly find a way to be right. All right. And this whole argument about whether David will be king. <laughs> all right. Overall, it's a stupid argument. OK. And it really makes no sense that the arguments that these men are making in these latter days are even being presented to the body. OK. Paul's writings aren't 100 percent legit. OK. These are the same men who will go to First Corinthians, all right, uh, believe the eleventh chapter to tell the woman that the man is the head. But as you read down, and it talks about long hair, or or not, you know, preaching or prophesying with your head covered, then they'll say that's not the word of God. Okay, the word of God is in the Bible, but the Bible is not the word of God. All of this confusion and madness. All right. But I'm going to address this because we here at Great Millstone, we're not teaching different doctrines, man. OK, David will be king. He is the head disciple of the tabernacle. It is David's tabernacle. OK. But whose authority will signify, will, 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 will complete it. OK. Whose mercy will allow it, okay, that will be Yahweh Shai, all right, remember when David was going to build a tabernacle in the uh, book of uh, Samuel, I believe it's in Chronicles as well, Nathan, you know, received, this, you know, a, a message, a vision, a word from the Lord to go tell David, no, okay, you're not going to be the one that builds the temple. Okay. Now, Solomon was the one who built that temple. Okay. Solomon is the one who completed the, the building of the temple. All right. And um, on Mount Moriah. <laughs> all right. Which is where uh, Isaac was going to be sacrificed by his father, Abraham. Side note. But, um, as a matter of fact, let me get this real quick. Let me just type this in. The badass kids, man. Now, um, you can read that in the book of First Chronicles, the 28th chapter. Okay. David's instructions to Solomon, ultimately on what? How to build this tabernacle in the temple, man. Okay. Verse 11, then David gave Solomon, his son, the pattern of the porch and of the houses thereof and of the treasuries thereof and of the upper chambers thereof and of the inner palace and of the place of the mercy seat and of the pattern of all that he had by the spirit. All right. Now ask yourself, how did David, all right, which remember this vision was given unto Moses. All right, not vision, because the Lord actually so showed Moses, you know, the tabernacle in the heavens when it came to build that tabernacle. All right, in the book of uh, Exodus. OK, well, David is giving Solomon that same pattern. OK, but it says that he had it. All right. By the spirit, you read it in the NLT, it says David also gave Solomon all the plans he had in mind. OK, to, to do what? Build this this temple. OK, by the hand of the. Uh, it says of the courts of the house of the Lord and all of the chambers round about and the treasuries in the house 
and so forth. And you, you can continue reading down. All right. So Solomon was given instruction to build this tabernacle. All right. It's the tabernacle of David. All right. But remember, David's hands were too bloody. Okay. So the Lord gave David mercy, and that mercy was through Solomon. Okay. Who established the throne and ultimately for 40 years we had peace we had a sovereign government okay um all 12 tribes in agreement. okay after solomon's you know uh temple i mean uh, after solomon's uh sin you know the kingdom was rent you know all 12 tribes were eventually you know uh separated and we went into these various different captivities all the way up into these days all right and then eventually, you know, Yahweh did come onto the scene, and that was the beginning of the establishing of the tabernacle of David being built, okay, in spirit. When he, you know, was uh, ultimately on the scene with Peter, the disciples, eventually he was sacrificed. Uh, he went on the cross, you know, he, he, he was in the earth for three days. After three days, he rose, and what happened? He eventually, uh, after 40 days and 40 nights, Yahawashai, you know, went back up into the spiritual realm on the right hand side so that he can send down the Holy Spirit unto the believers, the Gentiles. OK, that was the groundwork of the building of the tabernacle. All right. But who was the head of that uh, church, the rock on which everything will be fixated upon? It was Peter. Which in spirit, if you can receive it, that's David. So as we go here to Ezekiel the 37th chapter. Sakari is saying David here in Ezekiel the 37th chapter in the 27th verse is not talking about David. Let's read it. It says Ezekiel 37 and 24 and David, my servant, shall be king over them. Absolutely, David will be the head. OK, he is the rock on which the church will be fixated and established on. All right. Now, whose mercy allows this? OK, just like Solomon was the mercy. All right. Of David. At that time, Yahweh is the mercy of the tabernacle of David. OK, it is through his authority that the Holy Spirit was sent into these unclean vessels, the Gentiles, so that we can raise up. OK, and it happened back then, you know, at the time that Paul went out and preached and all that. And it's happening now through the Holy Spirit. OK, we're standing up on our feet and, 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 and we're the Gentiles. Ultimately, the Gentiles are those who receive the mercies of David and are not punished. All right. For their their, you know, their act, because really, technically, David should have been dead. Especially if Alizar was had the final say, David would have been out of there. Why? Because according to the technicalities of the law, David, all right, he would be dead, all right? But what the Lord did was through his only begotten son and through Solomon at that time, all right, he, he, he established mercy. And David's tabernacle was to be, he, he allowed that tabernacle, David's tabernacle, David's tabernacle was to be built. Okay, and Sakar and, and Alazar, you're going off. The tabernacle of David is being built here in Babylon the Great. Amos the ninth chapter does have everything to do with America because the the foundation was laid when Yahawashai came onto the scene. All right, and him, you know, offering himself up as a sacrifice, and eventually going back to the right hand side gave him, all right, the power on the right hand side through the Most High to send us down the Holy Spirit to finish it. All right, to finish it. And the, the, the purpose is when Yahweh comes, he's going to gather together everything that's in heaven and on earth as one. Okay. But who's the head of that church on which the rock will be established? David, and he will return to his rightful order. So what is the argument? Just like when Yahweh was on the scene, Peter was second in command. He was the rock. David, Peter, will return to that order in the kingdom. And right here, Ezekiel 37 and 24, and David, my servant, shall be king over them. This is speaking of David. 
What am I saying different than Apostle Tahar? Now, in prophecy, we know that it's his descendant, okay, that is going to be responsible for the mercy needed for this all to take place in, a, in, in, in overall. It's Yahawashai. Okay? The government, the high priest, all right, the government shall be on his shoulders. The, the ephod with the bearing the 12 stones, which represent the 12 tribes, is going to be on Yahawashai's shoulders. But who's the head? Of that church, it's 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 David. So David will be king. We're going to be a nation of kings and priests. So what's the argument of David being king? And David, my servant, shall be king over them, and they shall have one shepherd. All right. Now we know Yahweh is the shepherd, right? But was not Peter told to feed the sheep? And that one shepherd is Yahweh Shai, but under Yahweh Shai was not Peter, all right, and David, all right, feeders of the sheep. As a matter of fact, okay, I just typed in David and sheep, okay. David was always with the sheep, okay, First Samuel 16 and 19, wherefore Saul sent messengers unto Jesse, and said, send me David, thy son, which is with the sheep. Okay. He was always with the sheep. First Samuel 17 and 15. But David went and returned from Saul to feed his father's sheep at Bethlehem. Okay. At Bethlehem, man. All right. Which that's where Yahweh was born. Okay. That's where David was born. That's where Solomon was born. Okay. Okay. And that's that land going back to the book of Ruth, all right, that was uh that was purchased, okay, by um Boaz. He redeemed the land along with uh he had to take Ruth to wife, man. Okay. Now first Samuel seventeen and twenty, and David rose up early in the morning and left the sheep with the keeper and took so David was always with the sheep okay you could you could just read the rest of these scriptures as well okay uh first chronicles 17 and 7 now therefore thus said the lord uh, thus shalt thou say unto uh my servant David thus saith the lord of hosts i took thee from the sheep coat even from following the sheep that thou shouldest be a ruler over my people israel Okay, and he was king. He was anointed king, okay, by Samuel. Okay, and he was anointed just like Solomon was with the uh, oil that was only supposed to be for the sons of Aaron. All right, we know a lot of, uh, a lot of you guys would have an issue with that. But the same thing goes for Peter, okay? That was Peter's, that was his job, okay? The Yahweh Shai told him, uh, John 21 and 15, so when they had dined, Yahweh said to Simon Peter, all right, son of Jonas, lovest me more than these? He said unto him, yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, feed my lambs, which are the sheep. All right, he said unto him the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest me? He said unto him, yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, feed my sheep. Okay, and he said to him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh said unto him, feed my sheep. All right. So Peter, David, all right, are synonymous with. All right, with the shepherd as well, because under the chief shepherd, okay, because when you look at a uh, how how um, lambs operate, how sheep operate, okay, you have the good shepherd, which is Yahweh Shai, but don't you know sheep operate in absolute order in following the good shepherd? Look it up. They operate in order. Now, who's going to be that first sheep? <laughs> All right, directly 
behind Yahweh Shai, on which the church, all right, that's symbolic of the church, David, man. So really, this is a big fuss over nothing. And here it is, everybody's position gets, you know, uh, uh, you know, devalued, but you're going to be this chief priest in the kingdom of heaven offering up sacrifices. You're this, this, this chief, you, 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 every, you, you just exalt yourself, but everybody else, you, you have to figure, figure out a way to, to, to make an argument about their uh, position. And so discord. And that's what the Sakari did. This is why we tell you anyone who's who's preaching that they are the Sakari. Right. Let's say this. You preaching that you the Sakari where your your message is directly opposed to Yahweh Shai. OK. Remember who started Masada. Who Remember who who was responsible for the Romans rolling and, and eventually uh, destroying the temple and, and, and putting the followers of Yahweh Shai to death. The Sakari. So you niggas got blood on your hands even now and to this day, which is why the Lord is allowing the people to see you for what you are. OK, and don't get all high minded on the fact you got all of these views and, and, and all of this money. The scriptures say many shall follow their pernicious ways. Right. Many shall follow their pernicious ways, man. Making merchandise of the people. Sowing discord, being, being a, a, a goddamn uh, uh, going into the crowd, uh, stabbing people, then then acting like you didn't do it and trying to help help the person you stabbed. That's the type of shit the Sakari did, man. Cutthroats. Okay, as a matter of fact, real quick, I had to add this in before I loaded this video. Because I'm not fit to go back and forth with you guys. You're wrong. You're off. The book of Hebrews is not the word of God. What the hell? I got to debate you. Come on to your show to argue in 2021 if Hebrews is the word of God. This is Acts 21 and 38. Are not thou that Egyptian, which before these days made it an uproar? This was a, a, a zealot who followed after the Egyptian customs you can go into the josephus and it gives you some history on that okay this was an israelite just like grandmaster j all right and he, he he led an uproar against the roman government which is what the sakari were all about yahweh shai wasn't about that so how in the hell are you giving all praise to yahweh bashim yahweh shai but your message and your foundation is built upon the goddamn sakari yahweh shai wasn't with that message Yeah, they, 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 they believed in the Torah, all right? But uh, Yahweh Shai's authority, they didn't really acknowledge like that, which is why you have a problem with worshiping him. That's all right. And led us out into the wilderness, 4,000 men that were murderers. Now, let's look up this word murderers. You, this, this is your foundation. Okay, we're built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, man. You're built upon the foundation of a, some murderers, man. When I saw how grimy them niggas were, I, that's us. Yeah, how was I ain't pushed that madness, man? Now, when he comes back, oh, yeah, he's coming with a sword. Okay. But he had a baptism that he had to be baptized with. His message wasn't to take down the Roman Empire. And yes, the Sakari are responsible for followers of Yahweh Shai, both men, women, and children being slaughtered, massacred, fed to lions, burnt alive. Yes, you niggas were at the forefront of that. What's that word for murderers? Sicarios. An assassin, one who carries a dagger, dagger man, right? Or a short sword under his clothing that he may kill secretly and treacherously anyone he wishes to. A cutthroat. And you're seeing the cutthroat nigga in action. But you all are so woo behind rap and trap music and all of this bullshit that you, you don't even see that you're rebelling against Yahweh Shai openly. What did Yahweh Shai say? wanted to add this before I loaded this video man John 18 and 36 
Yahweh Shai answered, my kingdom is not of this world. Esau had to rule. What was the use of you trying to take him down then? We, we, because the, the, the thing of the Sakari and the Zillots was we're, we're, we're sovereign, man. We, we're, we're not under Roman authority and rule. Now, the mindset, I get it, but this is the thing. Prophecy says otherwise. So you're just a bunch of children left to your own uh, 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 way, man. Headstrong. And now you're making a goddamn fool of yourselves in 2021, leading into Jacob's trouble. Do a reality show when the troops come. My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight? Then we would fight. So we get the mindset, but this is not our kingdom. Rome had to rule. And, and, and Babylon has to rule the revival of Rome until the Lord takes them down and he's doing it. And what are you doing? Meanwhile, making a goddamn fool of yourself. Joining yourself with this world and, and, and the men under you. That I should not be delivered unto the Jews, but now is not my kingdom from hence. All right. One more. Okay. Because the Zillots looked at Yahawashai's message as a cowardly one. All right. Those chief priests, when he came on the scene, they had so many so big of a following. They were getting so much money. They were like, look, we if we follow him, we, we ain't going to have this. So that's why the, the Alizars, uh, I, I'm not fit to have no boring Passover. Because the dude is getting paid. Brother sent the thing, nigga, you, 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 you asking for $15,000 and got 75000 Making merchandise of the people. For what? So we can, for, and then he go, he'll flip it and he'll, he'll sit there. And see, when you when the when the troops roll on your ass, they they gonna make you take that head wrap off, and you gonna have to do that uh, uh, mug shot and show that hairline. You see, <laughs> just like polite had the show is. All right, cause y'all be hiding that hairline. Should go way back to nineteen ninety two Israelites. I'm just messing around, man. You see, polite, you see his mugshot, everybody laughing at his hairline. Now, mine's is gone, you know? But the, that, that mug, when, when, they, when, they, when they roll on you, when they get your ass, they're going to make you take that, 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 uh, that, that turban off, and you're going to have to show it. But anyway, what did Yahweh say? All right? This is Yahweh message, man. Luke 12 and 49, I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it already be kindled? So Yahweh wants this place to be destroyed already, but what's the, what's, what was his, the difference between his message and the message of the Zillots and the Sakari? But I have a baptism, baptism that I have to be baptized with, and how am I straightened until it be accomplished? Suppose I am come to give uh, peace on the earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. So Yahweh understood and wanted Rome to be destroyed in Babylon, you know, but he understood that he had his prophecy. He was bound and obedient to prophecy, man. Okay, but anyway, going back to Ezekiel. So all of you guys boasting, and we the Sakari, you, 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 you're you directly opposed to Yahweh Shai's message. You're not built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. You're self-willed, and your God is your belly. And you've been warned. Okay? So in discord. That's, that's weak, man. The Davidic kingdom. Okay? Now, we already know that it's David's descendant. That's the mercy that's going to ultimately allow this government to be established, man. This tabernacle to be established. But whose tabernacle is it? David, man. So this is talking about David. I'm not saying anything different from Apostle Tahar. Now, the way that sometimes some brothers may bring out a point and some brothers may not go uh, uh, further into it, but another brother may, and you can make it seem like they're teaching two different things. We're not teaching two different things, man. David will be king. You said this ain't talking about David. 
and David, my servant, shall be king over them. And what, 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 what's, what, why are you always trying to de rank somebody or devalue someone in the scriptures? But then you, you never devalue or de rank yourself. Apostle Tahar needs to retire using that uh, uh, chapter in Numbers, which is speaking of the sons of Aaron. Can you prove you of the lineage of Aaron? Because that's who that chapter was written to. And why didn't Eleazar retire in the book of Maccabees? He was 90 years old, still doing the work, still showing the people the right uh, 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 mindset. Anyway, Ezekiel 37 and 24, and David, my servant, shall be king over them, and they shall all have one shepherd. Okay, and with that one shepherd comes a church. Okay, the tabernacle of David, man, which is being built now in America. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel, the 34th chapter. Ezekiel 34 and 23. And I will set up one shepherd over them and he shall feed them. Even my servant David, he shall feed them and he shall be their shepherd. All right. So the problem is a lot of people try to use this to say, well, this 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 annuls you how shy. And for you guys, it's kind of confusing you. All right. As if the scriptures are saying something different than the other. But see, the, the, the bottom line is Yahweh Shai and the house of David are one. In John, the 17th chapter. OK. If I can get it real quick. He's praying for the church. All right. John 17 and 9. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Which who was at the who was the head disciple of that church? Peter. And we know overall it's 144 and a large multitude. And eventually all Israel will be saved under that order. And all are mine. And all mine are thine and all thine are mine. And I am glorified in them. See, I am now no more in the world, but these are in the world, okay, <laughs> building the tabernacle, laying the foundation, all right, and I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name those who thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name, with Peter being the head disciple. Those that thou hast uh, gavest me, I have kept and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, all right, that the scripture might be fulfilled. All right, then in verse 20, neither I pray for these alone, but for also them which shall believe on me through their word. You have the believers, that they may be one as thou, Father, are in me and I in thee, they also in, in may, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one. I and them, and thou and me, that they may be made perfect in one, that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Okay, so the establishment of the tabernacle of David. All right, is through Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Point blank period. It's just that you all don't have the understanding. There's a disconnect. And that's why the Lord put stumbling blocks in the scriptures so that you all can trip over them, like Paul's letters. But anyway. Right? So, yes, it's, it's, it's Yahweh Shai's authority and mercy, all right? Because Peter, what, what did Peter do? He had three major sins, just like David. David had three major sins, 
All right. He, he, he had a man murdered, committed adultery, numbered Israel. Peter denied uh, Yahweh Shai three times. But Yahweh Shai told him it was going to do that. But it was the, the mercy through Yahweh Shai that allowed Peter's uh, uh, apostleship to be solidified. Okay. So this is speaking of David, but we all know through prophecy, it's David's descendant that ultimately is going to be at the forefront of the mercy needed to establish this. That's prophecy. So David will be a king. He will be king. This is speaking of David, man. What the hell you bring up a uh, 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 real bone for? And you're doing exactly what you've always done. So discord. What does the scripture say about him that tries to sow discord? And you've you've mastered this. You've always done this, though. You know. The Lord hates that. And here it is, your ass didn't raise seventy five thousand dollars for some goddamn reality TV show, making merchandise of the nation of Israel, man. And all of those, those, those blind zombies following you up and all, and, 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 and you making yourself this public figure, the Lord is going to require that of you guys, man. That's all you've done the whole time you've been on the scene. When you get rebuked, you've always used these tactics and mind games. You're a witch. Tactics and mind games to try to somehow escape and put every, and make everybody else wrong. The Lord hates that shit, man. These be six things, doth the, these six things doth the Lord hate. Yes, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and a heart that uh, um, uh, deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that run are swift to run to mischief, the a false witness, okay, that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. And we know you guys, man. A lot of you are all up and all thinking these are, oh my God, man. We know you grimy, all right, garbage pail kids, man. Strife and contention, man. All right? Madan. Strife and contention. That's what he's trying to raise up. See, I've been doing videos cutting your asses, but you, you never responded to any of them. But when you find you think you found a point where you know, I can put put his word again, then you want to do a video. Because your ass been going off. Anyway. Ezekiel 37 and 24 and David, my servant, shall be king over them and they shall have one shepherd. OK, and they shall. And they shall also walk in my judgment. So David and Yahawashai are synonymous at the end of the day. You can't really have one without the other. Okay? Because in prophecy, it's Yahawashai that's going to establish the tabernacle of David. But David is still the head of the tabernacle, the church, the government, the governor. Wasn't, wasn't Zerubbabel the governor? But the government shall be up on Yahawashai's shoulder. He's the high priest in authority, but he's given that authority, all right, over unto David, okay, Peter. As a matter of fact, we'll end it off here, man. Brought this out yesterday. Matthew 16 and 17, all right? Now, right here and um, up here, basically, you know, Peter answered Yahweh Shai's question and said, thou art the Messiah, the son of the living God. And that's what everybody was denying. Okay. Now, remember, it was told to David. Okay. The one that's going to come from your loins and lineage. I will be his father and he shall be my son. David understood. It resonated with him. Oh, this is the son of the most high. Which was his mercy. Right. Peter understood that here. This is the son of the living God. This is he from the beginning. OK. 
This is the son of the Most High. And a lot of you envy Yahweh Shai's father son relationship with Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right? Which is why you, you push these weird doctrines and try to figure out ways to go into the scriptures to say you don't have to worship him, which worship just means a high level of reverence. And a, a lot of these things could be understood if you all understood ancient customs, man, and how things were done in Israel and kingship and lordship. But you niggas are stuck, okay, doing the Laffy Taffy here in America, man. Your mind hasn't left, all right, uh, uh, you know, past uh, uh, the here of things, the gang life. And you don't operate like kings and priests. You operate like street niggas. And I'm moving on. All right, after this, I'm not doing no more videos unless the spirit jumps on me to, to you know, go, go. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I got to go into that Ezekiel 40 through 48. But there's so much happening in the world with prophecy that, you know, sometimes you, you, you put things on the back burner. But we'll, Lord willing, we'll get to that. Because you teaching that that's the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 16 and 17. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Blessed are thou Simon Barjona, all right, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. See? That's why they, when David understood he couldn't build that temple, all right, his son that would issue forth from him, which was the son of the Most High, would do it. He understood, okay? And I say unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock will I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, meaning judgment, authority, lordship, kingship, all right? Will be given unto the house of David. Okay, just like Yahweh has the final say, well, that 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 authority is going to be given unto the tabernacle of David, and it starts with David, Peter. Okay, so it's it's here here you go. It's Yahweh authority that establishes and gives Peter, David, okay, his authority. We're going to be kings and priests under his order. Okay. In the keys, as I brought out yesterday, all right, Kleiss, we're going to go to the vines, expository. First, is used metaphorically, the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Now, what did the Lord tell, all right, his disciples? The kingdom of heaven is in you, okay? Which the Lord committed to Peter, okay? So Peter and Yahawashai, are synonymous. David and Yahweh Shai are synonymous. Okay? If you have ears to hear and eyes to see, if you don't, you'll try to figure out a way to say, well, he said, well, well Peter, well, he, no. You just don't have the spirit, my man. Take off that goddamn hat. By which he would open the doors of faith as the Jews did at the Pentecost and to the Gentiles, all right? Because ultimately what? The Gentiles received the Holy Spirit. All right. And it says Cornelius. And it's, it's very, very uh, uh, interesting that Peter had to go or Cornelius had to go to Peter. But that's a whole nother lesson. So the key is what? All right. One who has power to open and shut metaphorically to, den to denote authority of various kinds. Okay. And what does Revelation, the fifth chapter, say? Revelation 5 and 9, and they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to all right, our power by thy blood out of every kindred, tongue, and people and nation. Yes, he is worthy of all praise. And has made us unto our God kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth so all 
of us are going to be kings and priests. But who's the head of that church? Who's the rock? The, the, the which Yahweh Shai gave that authority to, all right, uh, 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 to be the head. I mean, we we just we just read it, man. And here it is. When you keep reading down, the angels are exalting the Lamb. You you niggas are figuring out a way to devalue His worship and praise. All right, well, you just wait till the Lord comes back and gets technical with you niggas and starts to look at what you did and and and, and get you. Hey, because you can fool men, but hey, Yahweh Ba Shemiah Shah sees you guys, man. I'm gonna end it off with one more scripture. Psalms 89 and 20. I have found David my servant. All right. Whom I who, with my holy oil have I anointed him. Okay? See the oil in a carnal sense, you know, the 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 physical oil is symbolic of a spiritual oil, the spiritual anointing. Which in these latter days we're being anointed with the with the oil from on high, man. So I have found David my servant with my holy oil have I anointed him. All right. With whom my hand shall be established. My arm also shall strengthen him. So who's the arm of the most high? Who's the holy arm of the most high? Which goes back to ancient kingship. The arm of the king. All right. Would have what? the authority to make decisions he would bring messages unto the people that's Yahweh Shai man Yahweh Shai is the holy arm and he's gonna strengthen David man Psalms 98 and 1 O sing unto the Lord a new song for he have done marvelous things his right hand and his holy arm have gotten the victory Isaiah 52 and 10, the Lord have made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all nations. All the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. And that's through Yahweh Shai. So David, his servant, is anointed. All right. With whom my hand shall be established. My arm also shall strengthen him. Okay. The enemy shall not exact upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. And I will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. You can read more and more. So, yeah, you guys got blood on your hands. All right. We remember what Eleazar and those Sakari guys were doing back then. So for you to come back in that lot means you coming back to be paid back. So for you men who are looking and scared to say something, because, look, man, y'all better leave these men. They separate like like in a, in a wilderness coordinate and separate yourselves from these men before judgment hits all right that, that will be your best bet because these men are playing with fire okay so on to the next man shalom hopefully i'll edify it